Welcome to the story of the wedding banquet. This story is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 1 through 14. The lesson focus for grades 5 and 6 is, God invites us all to the feast. Jesus was a storyteller. He told many parables. Parables are stories designed to teach something. Many of these stories are more complex than they might first appear. Some are downright perplexing. The parable of the wedding banquet is one of these. Unpacking this parable is challenging and may yield very few answers. As you prepare to teach Spark Sunday School, try focusing on this parable as a story that teaches us how God's invitations are for everyone. At first, just the wedding guests are invited to the banquet in this story. The king sends out his servant to gather them for the party because all of the preparations have been made. Come, let us eat, drink, and be merry, the king says. But those guests make light of the invitation. Some have other things to do. They're busy. Others are more sinister. They seize the servants, abuse them, and kill them. The king is furious. Who kills the messenger who invites you to a party? So the king opens up the party. He expands the guest list and invites everyone, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the beautiful. The wedding hall is full of guests. The last half of the story is even more troubling than the violence in the first half. We would do well to struggle with its meaning. This is why Jesus taught using parables, after all. We're invited into the struggle, the faith conversation. But for the purposes of teaching this story in Sunday School, it's better to focus on verse 10. Everyone is invited. All are welcome. God is never too busy for us. God says, come to my party. God is all about celebration. We can dance and sing with God. God invites us all to the feast, every single one of us. We can say yes to Jesus' invitation to join him in loving the world and dancing and singing with God. The inclusivity of verse 10 is important and can carry a Sunday school lesson any day. It's no fun to not be invited, but we can know that when God throws a party, God invites us all to the feast. Some girls may love thinking about wedding details, but chances are guys won't. You can keep this lesson challenging and engaging to all students by concentrating on the banquet aspects and wrestling with some of the metaphors and images Jesus uses in his parable. When it comes to God, we're all invited. If your fifth and sixth graders are avid texters, decide as a class how to use or not use their cell phones. You could designate a cell phone basket where kids can place cell phones when they enter class. An environment without these distractions can be a great place to learn and grow together. As kids read the story of the wedding banquet from their Spark Bibles, avoid the temptation to gloss over the images of violence, weeping, and gnashing of teeth. Kids will have questions about these, voiced or not. It's important to engage them with ready, thoughtful answers, or, if there aren't answers, more questions. Your pastor can be a great person for kids to talk to if you don't feel like you can answer their questions. The Worldwide Weddings Leaflet Activity allows kids a multicultural glimpse of what this sacred ceremony looks like outside of North America. You may want to supplement it with pictures from online or details from a wedding you've attended that reflects a specific culture or customs. With the in invitation list, be aware of and sensitive to kids who might be on the fringes of society, especially if the class talks about who should be included at the feast. You may want to preface this by saying that there are times when all of us don't feel included or on the outside, for example, with God, everybody means everybody. 
God invited us all to the feast.